Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to configure an open cart marketplace. After installation, you have to configure your open cart marketplace by logging in to the admin panel. To log in the admin panel, you have to enter username and password. And now click on login button. Clicking on login button will redirect you to the open cart dashboard. Here you can find a side menu. So you have to click on extensions. Clicking on extension will open an accordion menu. So you have to click on modules. Clicking on module will redirect you to a page where all the modules are listed. So you have to find the marketplace module. Here is the marketplace module. Now you have to click on edit button. The edit button will redirect you to the edit marketplace page. Here you can find various menus to configure your marketplace. So we will discuss general. Under general you will find a field named admin default mail. Here you have to enter your default mail which is to be used to send emails and notification to your customers and to your sellers. Now the second field is partner vendor at registration page. If it is enabled then you your customer registration page will display an option to become a partner or vendor. So we will go to the registration page and see how it is displaying. So we will go to the registration page, new customer register account here we can see register account this is our registration page and we will see where is this option is displaying so here is the option to become partner or vendor by clicking yes your customer can send a request to become a partner so if you don't want to show this option on registration page then you can disable it so we will go to admin panel and disable this option so now we will save it and we will again go to the registration page and see is it displaying or not yeah here it is displaying we will re refresh the page now it is not displaying because we have uh, disabled it from the backend or admin panel so here you have seen if you disable it then the option will disappear we will enable it because we want our customer to become partner and we want to show the option at registration page. The next field is approve partner automatic. By enabling this field, you don't have to approve the customers to become partners manually or you can disable it as well if you want to approve them manually so uh, the next field is approve product automatic if enabled then your partner can upload or add any new product without your approval 
if disabled then any new product need your approval to be added to your store so we will disable it because we want to approve products or approve new products to show or display in our store the next field is mail to seller partner here you can enable it if you want to notify the seller or partner on any purchase of their products or you can disable it as well if you don't want to notify or send email on any purchase of their product but we will enable it because we want to notify them on any purchase of their products so the next field is partner can change order status in this field if enabled then partner can change the order status related to their products only if you disable it then they can only see the order history and statuses added by admin but we will enable it because we want our sellers or partners to change the order statuses then the next field is order status for sellers this is related to the previous field here you can select order statuses from the among so we have selected cancelled, processed, processing and shipped. So only these statuses can be changed by the seller for their products. So now we will go to the sellers panel to see is those fields are working or not so we will go to the sellers panel here is our demo seller account so uh, we have entered our demo seller account so here is our uh, order history we will go to any of our order and see whether we can change the order status or not so we will find how can we change here here is the menu from where sellers can change the order statuses so we have selected cancelled here is a cancelled processed processing and shipped we have selected the, these four statuses so that seller can change these statuses so we will try to disable it from the admin panel so I'll try to disable it and I have to save this configuration to disable this so I'll again go to the seller panel to see whether it is working or not so it is displaying still displaying but if you click on order status it will not show any option so this is because of we have disabled it from admin panel so you can also disable this menu from your admin panel here is the option we will enable it because we want our seller to change the order statuses so the next field is order status sequence this is also related to these two fields so here you can set the sequence of the order statuses if you want to change any of the sequence of the status you can just drag it below or above 
so I will show you how I will drag cancelled status from second number to fourth here I have dragged the cancelled option from second to fourth so you can also drag it simply then the next uh, field is customer can contact seller in this field if enabled then a button will be displayed to the customer at product page under the seller detail named contact seller so we will go to the seller home page as a customer we have to log out from our demo seller account and I will search a product of our demo seller and we'll see how the button will occur, will be displayed so here is the demo product so we can see here is a button to contact the seller is written please log in to contact seller so clicking on here customers can contact the seller easily so you can also disable it if you don't want the customer to contact seller so you can go to the admin panel disable it and we will see save configuration now again we will go to the contact seller sellers page here is the button is vanished so you can disable it as well but we will enable it because we want our customer to contact our seller so the next field is mail to admin if customer contact seller so if this field is enabled then whenever any customer will contact to the seller and sends mail to the seller then that same mail will come to the admin and if disabled then admin will not be notified if any customer contacts the seller so I'll enable it because I want to want the marketplace to notify me when any customer contact seller so the next menu is upload default image here you can upload an image in case if any seller will not upload their profile picture or other images uh, then this default image will be displayed so you can remove you can also remove it and you can also browse to add an image so here is an image I'll upload it and it will be shown whenever any seller will not upload their profile image or other images so the next field is complete order status here you can set an order status which will be considered as the completion of the product order you can select one status amongst the list so we will select complete status for complete order status so and it will be uh, also be used to do transactions so it is very necessary 
to select an appropriate status which will be considered as the completion of the product order the next field is ship shipping method for seller here you can select various shipping methods from the list by selecting these methods when buyer will purchase products from sellers then according to these selected shipping methods shipping amount will be transferred to the seller's account and this is the last field under the, under the general tab so we will save the configuration save the configuration to save the general settings and that's all for this video you can find more videos to configure further thanks for watching this